Okay, so in this video we are going to talk about VS Codium. And if you're a developer like me, you might have seen a lot of articles and videos talking about people moving away from VS Code to VS Codium. And the only reason or the only thing I can see different from VS Code to VS Codium is the fact that VS Codium does not have the Microsoft telemetry or logo or gallery, etc that VS Code does. And that's it. Apart from that, as you can see, it looks exactly the same as VS Code. I don't know if this works better in Linux. I'm using VS Code on a Mac. But the main reason I see people moving away from VS Code to VS Codium is the fact that they don't want Microsoft to track what they're doing. Now, to me, that seems a tiny bit odd in the sense that Microsoft have got telemetry on there to make VS Code a better product. They have tracking to make sure that whatever data they gather from whatever they're, they're tracking, they can use that information to make VS Code better. Now, if everyone stopped using VS Code and moved over to VS Codeium, they would not know, they as in Microsoft, would not know how to improve VS Code. So that's one of the reasons that I am not moving to VS Codeium is because I want Microsoft to improve VS Code and therefore, I am happy for them to track what I'm doing. Now, of course, they could be tracking a lot more than they need to. They could track how many cups of coffee I drink or how often I leave my editor, what's the size of my index finger, all that random stuff they don't actually need. And that is a risk I'm honestly willing to take to improve the quality of VS Code. Now, of course, you can do whatever you want. You shouldn't use my opinion to change your opinion. If you like what VS Code is doing and you want to move from VS Code to VS Codium, you can go ahead and do so. But I just want to say, don't jump on the bandwagon because you've seen a lot of people moving over to VS Codium. Don't just do the same thing without doing your own research and coming up with your own reasons for moving. I think what Microsoft could do, if they don't already, is make it clear what they're tracking, what telemetry they have and why they're doing it and give the user an option to turn that off. That would be a more transparent way to go about doing things and that would maybe cause people to stay on VS Code, but I don't know. Anyway, if you're moving over from VS Code to VS Codium, let me know why. Write something down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful and I will see you in the next one.